host of Perino and Sirewall, I'll tell you what, and Howie Kurtz, who's host of Media Buzz on Fox News. Great to see you both. What'd you think? Well, um, Donald Trump, it, it's funny. If you imagine that the sex tape thing hadn't happened, if that or the, the hot mic thing hadn't happened, we would be telling a whole different story about Donald Trump today. We'd be saying he was more disciplined, he was better prepared, da-da-da-da-da, the comeback for Donald Trump. But because he failed to move the inventory on that, because he batted it away, as opposed to showing a contrite heart, and because he brought the, uh, because he brought the people in who were Bill Clinton's accusers and made that. The headlines tomorrow and the story coming out of this is going to be all about that. It's going to be all about that stuff, and it's going to overshadow his improved performance. Howie, uh, the moderators took a beating in some circles tonight. What did you think of how they did? I thought they were more aggressive with Donald Trump than with Hillary Clinton, particularly when Martha Raddatz uh, started debating Donald Trump about Syria policy. She is an expert on that. Look, I thought Donald Trump got off to a rocky start before the debate with this sort of strange press conference uh, with Paula Jones and other Bill Clinton accusers. I thought he had some tough moments in that seriously personal first half hour uh, when he uh, strangely pivoted from just locker room talk to uh, beheading of ISIS and then said, by the way, Hillary should be in jail. Like, I want to be, I'm going to be strong. He's, he's maintained this all the time, that his attacks on people prove how strong he is. Right. But after that, Megan, he seemed to find his rhythm. Hillary uh, was a little bit more the defensive as the conversation turned more to her record. And by the end of it, I think he battled back to a draw. When you consider the sheer media hell that Donald Trump has been through in the last 48 hours, that has to be considered at least a moral victory. You know, I don't know if he considers it hell. He had a quote uh, over the weekend to the Washington Post saying, you know, this is, it, it's called life. You know, right. things happen. It's called life, which is actually kind of a nice 30,000 foot perspective right. from somebody who's under fire right. handling it pretty gracefully under the circumstances. But obviously, that ignores the, the content of what we saw and how repulsive. So many Americans found it. And you tell me, Sirewell, whether anybody is going to get past that first 30 minutes in the, in the run up, rundown tomorrow. So this was a debate for his base. He turned in the performance that his base would have wanted. He attacked on the sex stuff as opposed to showing contrition. Uh, he focused on issues that they were into. But I want to tell you that right near where we are here uh, in suburban St. Louis, the voters who he needs are right here. They're suburban white people with college degrees who have been reticent to support Trump. He didn't give them anything tonight. He gave his base a nice, happy feeling. If you like Donald Trump, if you're, this was a primary debate performance, not so much a general election and debate to that, performance. And to that point, here's just a little bit of the anger that we captured on tape tonight. Watch. It's just not true. And so please oh, you, oh, go you didn't to, delete him? Allow her to respond, please. Were personal emails, not oh, official. 33,000? Yeah. Well, we turned over 35,000. So oh, yeah. it was. What about the other 15,000? Uh, please allow her to respond. She didn't talk while you talked. Yes, that's true. I didn't. Because and you have I didn't nothing in the to first. Say. Okay, Donald, I know you're into big diversion tonight. Anything to avoid talking about your campaign and the way it's exploding and the way Republicans are leaving you. But well, let's, let's, let's at see least what focus on some response. of the let's issues. See what I'd like to know, Anderson, why aren't you bringing up the emails? I'd like to know. Why aren't you we getting brought up to the, the emails. bottom? No, it hasn't. It hasn't. And it hasn't been finished at all. Ken Carpoitz has a question. It's nice to one on three. Howie, what'd you make of that? It was Trump attacking Hillary, deflecting Hillary, going back at him, and expanding the, oh, you don't only respect women, you've been attacking blacks and Latinos and Muslims and the disabled, all of which pleases her base. I agree with Chris. I don't know that Donald Trump brought a lot of new uh, voters into the tent, but he was much more aggressive. And here's the thing. Many top Republicans have been bailing on this guy. He needed to convey a sense that he's stabilizing his campaign. He might have done that since he did gain strength in the last hour. Depends on how many people stayed up for the whole thing, Megan. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, he's got to do addition. That's all about addition, as Stuart Stevens keeps saying. Guys, great to see you both. Great to see